uh-oh, I can see it in his eyes. Marcus has a bug up his butt again, and he's ready to explode again. <laughs> you and I both know that there's a bunch of young guys out there right now trying to prove they can make a whole movie with a DJI Pocket 3, right? I mean... Look, this whole channel is about how to make great stuff with very little, and I'm all about being creative with limited resources and using things other people laugh at. But don't try to kid yourself into believing this is the greatest thing in the camera world. It's not. It's good for what it is. I mean, I have one. It's great for tracking and doing stabilized shots on YouTube. But if I'm going to make something more serious, I'm going to use something more serious, at least with interchangeable lenses and a freaking viewfinder. Look, I get it. You're young. You want recognition. You're trying to prove how amazing you are by using something so small. I get it. I was there in my 20s and 30s. I remember. But let me tell you something from experience. You don't waste your time and make life tougher on yourself. You do something like this because it's fun, not because you want to prove something. So you made a movie with something the size of a cigar, dude nobody cares. You're still focusing on the equipment. You're focusing on the wrong thing. That kind of gimmick is not a draw. That's not why people see movies. It doesn't matter if you use a pinhole camera or IMAX. Nobody cares what it's made with. They want to see a good story. That's it. Robert Rodriguez made El Mariachi for $7,000. That's almost nothing. It was a big deal when it came out. What camera did he use? Who cares? Okay, Blair Witch was made with a home video camera. Can you tell me exactly which model it was? Please don't, because nobody cares. When I made my Hollywood movie, I started with my own crappy Krasnogorsk 3 1KCP7M, a cheap Russian clone of an Airy 2C. I got it for a couple thousand bucks. It was a piece of crap, but I had no money, and I was willing to make the whole movie with it. But people love the script, and when production started, they started bringing in the Airy 3s and 4s and Airy BLs. Did I say, no, you can't do that because I want to prove I can make this movie with my crappy cheap camera? Of course not. Now, I know some people are going to say, yeah, but it's the only camera I have and they can't afford anything better. But I guarantee you that's not the reason. You know why I know? Because if you were really fired up about something and people saw how passionate you were, they would lend you a freaking better camera. I guarantee it. Use fun little things like this because it's fun and you love being creative and it gives you pleasure, not because you're trying to prove something and you want people to pat you on the head. I'll say it again, dude, nobody cares. Focus on a good story, a story that makes people laugh and cry because it reminds them of what life is about and it speaks to their heart. That's what filmmaking, photography, music, and art is all about, not the tools you use to make it. Okay? Okay, now go make history.